Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a video review on a product that I was really interested in for a long while and I researched it, I wanna say about a year ago I researched this and I thought to myself, should I give this a try, should I not? And I'm gonna first tell you what it is and then I'll tell you a little bit about why I decided to wait. And it is a product called the Baby Quasar and this is what it looks like and it is a skin rejuvenating system with god only knows what word that is god only knows anyway um this is the red one there are two of them there's a red one and a blue one and why i had considered this a while ago was because if you watch my videos i get uh microdermabrasion and i get laser um skin facials. I've done IPL, I've done all different types of ones, plus I get vitalized peels and things like that. So this piqued my interest when I was about probably a year and a half, maybe two years into my laser facials. And I go for my laser facials about once a month. Um, and what a laser facial basically does is it goes down below the la top layers of your skin. I think don't quote me on this, I think it goes down four layers. And what that does is that helps when your skin, as you exfoliate your skin, the newer skin comes up and it's always regenerating. And as it comes up, when you're doing the laser facials, it actually is tightening and helping the skin that's below the surface. So when it actually comes up, it looks better. It looks more tight, it looks more rejuvenated, there aren't as many breakouts because they're, the pores have all been shrunk at a lower level. So when they come up, there's no room for it to get like blocked up. And it helps reduce your pore size, it helps uh, the oil production not be as bad, things like that. Now, laser facials are expensive. You have to go to a med spa, to a registered nurse to have these things done. Um, and they can be very costly. Um, it's very quick. It takes about 20 minutes to a half hour at the most to do quite a few passes on the face. I feel like my lighting is like really weird today. Like it's like light, like really, really light. So anyway, um, so when I heard about this, it is basically an at-home version of what I was doing. So I was really interested. Now the red one is supposed to help with aging skin, with helping, uh, you know, control oils. It helps reduce sunspots, things like that. The blue one is supposedly made to help reduce acne and oil production. This helps a little bit with that, but that one is specified for that, whereas the red one is specified more for anti-aging to help fine lines, uh, sunspots, etc., things like that. So, that being said, I was very interested in it. It is fairly expensive. Um, this was sent to me. I'm gonna start out with that. This was sent to me by beautychoice.com. But when they asked me, when they got it in stock and they asked me about doing a review on this, I was like, definitely, because it was something I had considered, but before the wedding, I wanted to make sure that I was sticking with what I was used to that year ago when we got engaged and I was trying to decide, should I start doing this at home or should I keep doing what I was doing? So I kept doing what I was doing, but then they asked me about wanting to review this and I was like, yeah, definitely wanted to try it. So I was super excited. So I have been using this for a while now. I have been using this for, I actually, when they asked me about it, I said I was gonna be going away for the wedding. So I wanted it way ahead of time so that I could start trying it and really know how it worked before I taped my review. Um, plus the fact of the matter that quite honestly, I didn't want to start trying it too close to the wedding and maybe have a bad result or something like that. So a little bit about it. This is what it looks like. It's a metal device. It has little lights in through here, an on off button through here, and it does have a plug. Now, here's an interesting thing to me is I'm not exactly sure why this is removable because it doesn't do anything when it's not plugged in. So why wouldn't this just be plugged in? But whatever. That being said, you plug this in and there are different stages of how this works. You push the button and this is the first setting. Sorry, you don't want to look directly into the light ever, by the way. So you can see it on. Okay, I'll do it this way. Okay, and then this, and this one is the first setting. Hold on, let me turn it off. The first setting is for the most sensitive skin. 
and it's for someone that's not sure of how their skin's gonna react and actually this is kind of cool this is another thing is they have a really nice little instruction manual and I'm gonna show you this part real quick is where did it go okay it gives you oh you're not gonna be able to, I'll read some of this to you um, it tells you how to use it and what it's for so the first one is to help with healing pain pain issues and it doesn't really get deep under the skin to help with wrinkles or anything like that but it help like it can help if you have headaches if you have stress headaches um, if you have sinus problems things like that it also helps heal the top like kind of the closer layers of the skin so when you turn it on again you can see the red light and the back of it turns on and oh you can't see it Oh, you can't see the different colors. I guess it, I've been using it at night. To, oh, there it is. Never mind. Never mind. At the top, there's a green indicator light. Okay, and that's for the first way of using it. And you can see it's a solid light. You can see it on my hand. Okay, the second one, you push it one more time, and it starts pulsing. Okay, it has an amber colored light at the top. You can see that there. But you can tell it's pulsing on my hand. Okay, so now that one is like the next step up. And that one is still for sensitive skin. You can use it on your skin. If you have sensitive skin, um, if you're concerned about what your reactions are gonna be, definitely start with that. They say to do a tester spot somewhere other than your face first. Um, now, I knew that my skin was okay with lasers, so I didn't do that. I kind of just went right in and started using it. Um, so that's kind of the first real one that will help with sunspots with wrinkles around the eyes with um, any type of imperfections it kind of starts getting into the skin now the next step up which is the third step is the mode three and it's the red indicator light now it looks like it is solid same thing you see on my hand there but it actually um, i'll tell you this too it it serves the same functions as mode two with the low pulse frequency mode, but it's especially designed for people with normal skin tones. And the pulse is moving so fast that you are not seeing it on that mode. Now, that is the one I have been using. And I will tell you, I have one more laser treatment before the wedding that's like the last one in my package set and I will not be repurchasing because I'm going to be using this. Um, now, here's the other side, something to take into consideration. When you do a laser treatment, like I said, at a med spa, I go once a month. It's over in 20, 30 minutes, okay, and I'm done. It is, depending on which ones you go to, I've gone to some that are slightly uncomfortable and the one I go to now is extremely comfortable except for when it's on like the bridge of my nose. Um, it is extreme, the one now, I could fall asleep almost. It's like these weird warm water drops kind of dropping on my face, but I could literally fall asleep because it feels so good. So this, the difference is, is you need to use this as much as you possibly can. I have been using it daily since I got it. I want to say I'm easily almost a month in. And what you do to tell you, that's, that's the different modes of this. Now to tell you how to use it. You wash your face, you cleanse your face. What I do is I use my normal makeup face washcloth and then I use my uh, Sigma cleansing and polishing tool and wash off my face and completely clean my face. Then I don't tone my face. I usually put a toner on my face at that point, but I don't when I'm gonna do that. And what you then do with this is you do your face in six sections. And let me see if I can show you. I bet you you can see that. You can see the sections, okay? So what you're gonna do is you actually start you're going to start right here. This is section one, section two, section three, section four, five, and six. Okay. And so you're going to sit here and you put it directly onto your skin and you're going to move it so, so, so slowly. Okay. And it goes for two minutes on section one. It beeps at you. It's kind of a weird sounding beep. I'll turn it on and let it go for a little bit and see if we hear the beep. So you do one section for two minutes, it beeps. You move on to the next section for two minutes, it beeps, etc. You go around and you do this on your face twice. So that takes 24 minutes. I did it while I was watching TV. The only downside is when you're doing this side, like under your eye, you're closing this eye and you're like, you know, moving it around and stuff like that. Um, so you're gonna go over your entire face 24 minutes, okay? And then, because I have more noticeable pores around my nose and on my chin, 
I go back over those areas now and I do two minutes it's under my eyes because it'll help with the wrinkles especially around here and on my nose for two minutes then I go to my chin for two minutes then I go back here for two minutes and here for two minutes so in total that's like what 28 minutes okay that I'm at so now they tell you when you go back into these areas to go back to level mode one um, I've done it both ways I don't know my feeling is is I kind of honestly like having mode three because that's kind of my more predominant area so I started out with the mode one like they said um, didn't notice anything dramatically different so then I went to mode two after like a week and then I went to mode three um, and it hasn't irritated my skin so I think I'll stick with mode three all over my face twice and then back through the more areas that are prone to breakouts and pores and things like that um, for that additional four minutes on each so what, wait that's extra so it's almost if I if it's at 24 minutes I mean, that's 32 minutes so it's almost a half hour so watch a half hour TV show and do this the only downside to this is versus once a month for a half hour every day for about a half hour that's the beep so that's what I mean by it's kind of an odd sound and it kind of throws you off at first you're like wow that's kind of loud um, it gets slightly warm but not hot by any means just like very very slightly warm and that's only after it gets towards the last passes I am truly impressed with this like I don't know if you can tell on my skin but and my hair still wet I still have it tied up but my skin is just it's just got such a nice vibrancy to it um, it definitely like my breakouts have been reduced dramatically it has helped with that um, same as my laser facials have but the problem that I find is when I go to do the laser facials for like the week after my skin is like gorgeous and then I still have those breakouts and things like that and this has been completely controlling that for me um, I still have most of my fine lines aren't too bad like through here anymore um, I do have Botox right in through here um, but you can still see my fine lines on my forehead just slightly I don't want it so my face doesn't move like I can still scrunch my face and move my eyebrows um, I had tried Botox around here once it didn't do anything for me but I have fine lines right through here um, I can see a difference on them they are unless I'm like this they are not as noticeable as they used to be I used to see them just when I was doing normal things also right here those smile lines are noticeably down they are not as deep I mean when you really really smile but when I used to go like this also around my lips my lips are a big thing is because with the laser that they use you have to be really careful you can't get too close to your lips or under your eyes and this has kind of really helped I noticed it a lot of difference on my under lip my top lip I still have some fine lines but I'm hoping over time this helps with that too but I think this is great like this literally is like the cost of two laser treatments at a med spa so it to me I uh, now that I've tried it it is worth it to get that if you're interested in something like that if you don't have the money to continually go and get laser facials then you know I know this is expensive but this is a great option and you'll always have it it has warranty information um, it came in really cute like came in a box that slid out um, it has a really nice thing and it came with a lifetime I think it was a lifetime warranty um, yeah oh no five years five year, five years from the so I mean for five years that's still pretty good but so I sent that in um, and they will replace it or repair it for that five years like no questions asked if it's not working correctly um, it is very stable feeling it is not cheap feeling it is very nice and stable feeling and um, so far I haven't minded doing it I'm sure at some points I'm gonna be like oh god I don't feel like doing this tonight or whatever have you but I think if you at least do upkeep of a couple days a week I think it really will show very similar results so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry I'm kind of like thrown together today with just like some stuff but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys about it because um, 
I was doing my makeup today and I was really like, wow, I can really tell the difference, especially in through here. So I wanted to tell you guys about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions and I will put the link to beautychoice.com below of where I got it. Um, and um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day. Bye.